Good morning, everybody. So today we're going to be doing mornings with me. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I start my mornings. Um, just like a little, this will be short. I'm going to do a little skincare and stuff like that for you guys. So yeah, let's get into it. The first thing I do, I love, love, love candles. Candles are my shit. I definitely always love to provide like a spa experience for me because um, my job, I do a lot of talking. So I have to like kind of center myself before I do that. So first things first, I do love this eucalyptus and sage candle from Bath and Body Works. I've been digging this candle. I've been lighting it for my um, bubble baths and stuff like that. So I'm gonna light this candle, kind of get the vibe going. It's all about vibe, guys, these days. I think getting your morning started like in a chill way really makes a difference. I feel like sometimes like when I kind of like sleep in a little bit and I like just rip it and run it, I feel like I'm a little manic and I, I don't know. I just don't really be feeling it that much. So first, gotta brush these teeth. So it's going to have, bitch, look at this. I got these curly lights. Y'all know this is a big investment. If y'all go to my first, my very first YouTube video, I kind of go in about my veneers. But yeah, I have veneers. Gotta take good care of them. It's a pretty hefty investment. I'm not gonna miss a day on that. So now we can kind of get into skincare. Um, I just, it's so funny because every time I feel like I do a skincare video, I feel like I don't know, I just feel like my period just comes and I'm like breaking out, but. Um, okay, so well, now we can get into skincare. So before I get into skin, I always like to put one of these on when I'm doing my skincare. This is like a little headband that I got from Amazon. Um, because y'all, we put a little effort into these edges. This is like, this takes a while to do. I don't know if it's messing up for nobody. So I'm gonna do that like that and kind of preserve these babies for later because this is how I pretty much wear my hair every day unless I have like weave in. So I'm gonna do it like that. Yes, because I don't want nothing to get on these edges, y'all. Cute, this little look. Got my little. So I will say that, the, oh, so I use the Kiehl's, I don't even know how to say, the Deep Cleansing Foaming Face Wash. This is, out of all the things I'm using today, this is probably something I've used the longest. This is the only, like, cleanser that gets, not all my makeup off, because I feel like no fucking cleanser does that, but a good bit without, like, tearing my skin. So what I do is, this is, like, one pump. It's clear, and it's, like, a foam. And it makes me feel so squeaky clean. So I'm kind of getting it together in my hand like that. And then I just go in, just like this. And then I'll do every. I got it a lot because I'm going to be everything. Pat dry. And I kind of push my lashes up when I'm doing this because if y'all wear eyelashes, eyelash extensions, y'all know what I'm talking about. I try not to get them super wet, but I also like to clean around my eyes. Sorry. So. Okay, so now we can kind of get into the skincare portion so for toner i use chanel this blue one i really like this one it's not super super fragrant but it does have fragrance in it so for people that are irritated or skin gets irritated with fragrances um, this wouldn't be the one for you but it works good for me this really gets the skin as clean as possible so the moisturizers and the serums can really penetrate the skin a lot of people um i did my skincare for 
my Instagram one time, people were like, oh my God, you're putting on so many creams. One, they're not all creams. This is not a cream, it's actually a toner. Um, and it really helps everything kind of seep into your skin. A lot of people don't really understand like a really good multi-step skincare routine, but that's okay because that's what Google's for and that's for like, it's not for everybody or whatever, but I wanna be young and cute forever. So that's that. <laughs> so next is my favorite moisturizer. I love this moisturizer. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge. This is one of my favorites. I absolutely love this. I love the texture. I love the way my makeup looks on top of it. It's like, it's like the only moisturizer that I've used that um, really looks good under my makeup. Cause sometimes I skip moisturizing my skin before my makeup. I know it sounds horrible, but I do because like moisturizer has a tendency of making everything melt off. So if I have like a long night, I won't put it on, but this one I can't because I like the way my skin looks underneath it. And I kind of press it in, as you guys can see. I try not to tug at my skin too, too much. Um, yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, so next, I have to wipe my hands. So next would be my under eyes. I've been using the Banana Bright Eye Cream. Everybody was talking about this for the longest. I'm like, I don't have to get on because everybody else is getting on whatever. But girl, I love this eye cream. I've been using like La Mer and no shade to La Mer, but I've been using La Mer for forever and I feel like I've never seen any results with that. But with this Banana Bright Eye Cream, I feel like results i feel like my under eyes are a little brighter i feel like it helps like with the texture underneath it i don't know and i love the texture it really feels like it's like butter it's so thick like i don't know i just love it so i'm just gonna put it like that my nails are really long right now I'm just gonna do, which is pretty much like almost like the last step. I go in with SPF. I go in with a little bit of SPF and this is from Kiehl's. Um, this one, it's so hard finding like an SPF. I think Rihanna came out with one. I'm gonna try hers. But it's so hard to find one that doesn't have that white cast in it. This one doesn't, but it still has that SPF smell that I don't really care for. But I mean, this is like, the best that I've come across. So this is uh, from Kiehl's. This is the super fluid and it's very, very like silky smooth. Um, it's SPF 50. So I, SPF, I find that it really works. So next I'm just gonna go and I'm pretty much done with the face. Um, now I'm just gonna focus on my lips. My lips are so dry. I honestly should drink more water, but I don't. So this is the, um, the Glam Glow little lip scrub that I use. So I just kind of go like that and then just shimmy it around just to kind of get all that skin off. I don't know. And then I use my towel to kind of like brush my lips too. Kind of like this. Other like little treatment for my lips is the Dior uh, Lip Glow. And this also kind of makes your lips like a little pink too that I like. So I like this product for that. Cause when I'm not wearing makeup, I still look like, hmm, she's still cute. So see how it makes my lips like pink? And my lips look more hydrated after like those two things I did. And lastly, just some, what is this? And then so lastly, I'm just gonna go in some rose water just to kind of refresh myself and get myself ready for the day. Cause like I said, I'm all about 
treating myself nice. I'm all about, you know, a vibe. And this gives me a vibe. Mm. So this is it for my skin. Um, yeah. So let's go into what I eat for breakfast every day. And yeah, so. Okay. So every morning, I definitely always have avocado toast and goat cheese. That is just my shit, my jam. And like another thing that I normally do is I normally do a coffee and I kind of dress it up and make it like sweet and everything, but I'm really trying to weed my way off of coffee. So I'm going to do tea this morning. And I did tea the last two mornings. And of course, I don't, I'm not like as pepper in the morning because I don't have the coffee, but I'm trying to find ways where it'll, I can boost my, I don't know, boost my little pep in my stack. But this bread, I really like it because I have the seeds in it and it's kind of healthy too. I think it's healthy. Let me see. I don't know. I just like it because it tastes good and I like the texture. Oh, looks like my water's ready. Let me turn that off. And then I like my toast to be super crunchy. So I put it on the ending one. Crack open this avocado. I hope she's cute. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Okay, she's all right. She's not as green as I like, but that's okay. Is we're still gonna eat her. <laughs> so what I like to do, I like to cut it like this. You gotta be careful when you do this. You have to kind of like feel the feel the grooves in it. And now what I'm gonna do is also water to my tea and then to my tea I usually like to add Splenda let me see if I have any of it I use those today. Oh, I don't have some. so I have two Splendas that I like to use Normally I'm quicker at this y'all, but for today's video, obviously I'm taking my time, kind of explaining everything, so, yep. Okay, so this is how I kind of like my bread, like a little brown right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just leave it on here. And that's like kind of like the key I find to avocado toast. You wanna like let the bread kind of cool off a little bit because it can turn into like all mushy real quick so that's like a little good tip so if y'all want like a nice crunchy toast let the bread kind of cool off for a little bit now that my bread is cooled off i'm just going to scrape this avocado out and right on it <laughs> it's not that cute actually when I do it on camera, I'm sure, but it's good, so that's all that matters. So honestly, I kind of just leave it like that because I kind of like biting into the texture of it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to throw a little bit of, oops, I'm gonna throw a little bit of this goat cheese on top. So after I have it all kind of on there, I kind of go in with some pepper and some salt. And then my favorite, some red pepper flakes. This kind of just gives it a kick. So cute. Well, not really, but <laughs> this is just how I eat it. I like to eat it like that. And I just put it on some. And we're going to start our day. 
Okay guys, so that is my morning with me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I definitely think it's so important for you to take at least an hour of your day, no matter morning or night, to yourself. It really makes a difference, I promise you, in your day and your, product your productivity. That's a hard word, but yeah. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I have more videos on the way, but a lot of people wanted to see my skincare. So that's my skincare routine, and that's like my little breakfast routine. So now I'm about to get it popping with this work. I have three videos to edit. I have a lot of good content for you guys. So yeah, see you guys in the next video.